Hey, welcome back everyone. We just finished talking about Azure Key Vault and the benefits of Azure Key Vault. To give you a summary, Azure Key Vault is a centralized cloud service for storing your application secrets. The Key Vault helps you control your application secrets by keeping them in a single central location by providing secure access, permission control, and access logging capabilities. In this walkthrough, we will create an Azure Key Vault and then create a password secret within the Key Vault, providing a securely stored, centrally managed password for use with these applications. So without wasting any more time, let's go and find out how to do that. Now we are in our Azure portal. So for finding a Key Vault, all we have to do is either type in on the search box or go to all services and type in Key Vault. Just like any other services, we can pin it to our dashboard or on the sidebar as well. So as you can see already, I already have a key vault configured within my subscription for something else. So to create a key vault, it's pretty straightforward. So basically what you have to do is give your subscription name. So if you have multiple subscription, choose the right one and select a resource group or create a new one and provide a unique name for your key vault. So I'm gonna give a key vault test and some number. Uh, and uh, next is region. So where, do you, where would you like to keep your key vault? So it's, it's a very strategic decision as a customer you would choose. There are two types of uh, pricing tier, standard and premium. Uh, there are a few recovery options as well. Would you like to keep these vault in a purge mode after you delete etc so each of these options come with a cost uh, then there are a few other options which i'm not going to go in detail because it's not relevant for az900 fundamentals exam series once you go into az104 that's where we will dive deep into azure key vault other options so hit on create to create a key vault so looks like our key vault is created. I can click on go to resource. It takes me directly to the key vault. I can see the basic details on the overview tab, like where is the location? What's the subscription like? What's the DNS name, which is allocated for this particular key vault? Sometimes you may have to use the DNS name when you attach this key vault services to an application to authenticate to the secrets what we stored inside. So on the left hand side, under settings, that's where you can see keys, secrets, certificates, access policies, networking, etc. The keys is where you can see all the keys you have stored here. So you can either you generate a key or you can import or you can restore from a backup as well. And the certificates is where you can generate a new certificate or you can import and store your existing certificate for other authentication. Similarly, we have access policies where you would be able to see who's got access to your vault. Uh, you can provide other Azure services to allow or not allow access to your key vault. For a user, what sort of a control you want to have in your key vault? What sort of a key permission, secret permission, certificate, certificate permissions, etc. You can narrow down and you can filter it out and give a least privilege for a user to access your key vault as well. So the task, what we are going to do now is we are going to add a secret to your key vault. So let's manually create a secret. So within your key vault, you can click on key and then secret, select manual, uh, give a name for your secret. Uh, in this case, I'm going to put an example password and uh, make sure you provide a value as well value is secret so for this exercise i'm going to display the secret but in general what you would normally do is this is your secure vault and this is where you keep your secret keys or the passwords or things like that from uh, preventing from anyone to access this information other than the rightful user and once you provide the date, you can leave the rest of the values as it is and click on create. So that's how you create a secret 
within your world. Only the user who is allowed to use your world will be able to do that and access this information. So I logged in as Rick. Rick anyway has access to your world because I have already shown you how you can add a user where who's got access to your world. I as a user can log into your world and click on your secret and check on the current version or the or the latest one. And if I want to see the information, I can double tap and go inside and reveal the secret value as well. Or else I can click on the secret identifier and use that link to connect to my application to access these secret keys. That's the preferred way. So it looks like I can enable it and I can show you the key which we have entered before. Now you have learned how to create an Azure Key Vault and then created a password secret in the Key Vault as well. To avoid additional cost, I'm going to go back to my resource group and delete all the resources I've just created for this particular demonstration. In the next module, we're going to talk about what is Azure policy and how you can define an Azure policy. So I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care.